Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is CNN Money. Came right off the press by Aaron Smith. Dated the 26th of March 2018. Today is the 26th of March. Remington, one of America's oldest gun makers, files for bankruptcy. Remington Outdoor Brands has filed for bankruptcy. The bankruptcy filing allows Remington to stay in business and keep making guns while restructuring its massive debt. You know what that debt's all about? Huh? You'll find out as we get down lower into this article. The company plans to reduce its debt by $620 million through the Chapter 11 process. The company said when it first announced its plan to file for bankruptcy in February that operations will not be disrupted by the restructuring process. Founded in 1816, Remington is one of the America's oldest and largest manufacturer firearms, according to court filings. Remington is also one of the best known gun makers in the world. It's owned by Serbius Capital Management, which plans to shed ownership once the bankruptcy is complete. Hearings on the bankruptcy are scheduled to begin Tuesday in U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Wilmington, Delaware. Remington is seeking to confirm its bankruptcy plan by May the 3rd. The company's biggest creditors are Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation and the Marlin Firearms Company Employees Pension. See, it's these pensions. Remington is headquartered in Madison, North Carolina. It makes a variety of handguns, shotguns, and rifles at its sprawling 19th century factory in Lyon, New York. It has seven factories altogether located in different states and 2,700 employees. Its products include the Bushmaster AR-15 style rifle that was used in a 2012 mass shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. That's bullshit. The company has been sued by family members of the Sandy Hook victims. An attorney for the law firm representing those family members said it does not expect the bankers to be filing to affect its client's case in any material way. So you're suing a company because someone supposedly used a gun that they never used to kill kids that never got killed. Huh? <laughs> so what if you buy a car and you run somebody over? Can you sue the car company because they sold that car to the guy that ran somebody over? Shows you how fucked up things are. A cloud hangs over the gun industry. The gun industry as a whole has suffered plunging sales and profits under the Trump administration because consumers are no longer driven by fears of more restrictive gun control with the Republican in the White House who's been endorsed by the National Rifle Association. None of that makes any sense because that's not the case. American Outdoor Brands, which owns the brand Smith & Wesson, reported dismal earnings earlier this month, as did Strump Ruger in February, and they've laid off hundreds of workers. Well, I can't speak. It's not Trump that's the problem. The problem is the left wing whacked out Democrats. And again, these companies have such a huge obligation to the unions, to their pension funds. That's why California, San Francisco is $10 billion in debt. That's what it be. That's just San Francisco. In either case, you now know what I know. I'll attach the link. Thanks for listening.